Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. Italy 1944 shall be conquered today. Mark my words. Right, let's get cracking then. Eight divisions. Let's go and give them a field marshal uh, and a general. You shall do. And we will go plonk them on the border with the USA on our south. And we'll do a little arrow to get some planning bonus. Focuses. Um, the one I want, I can't do actually yet, can I? Because I need to start the game. So we'll do that in a second. Let's go research. And we're going to be here a long time. So let's go and get the industry going. Get construction. And we will get concentrated industry as well. Let's go and build anti-air everywhere. Because as this always gets screwed over by zero trains. So let's go get five anti-air. Uh, no, we're not going to do midget subs today. We will be doing spamming out subs, though, and we're going to sink every convoy that dares to cross the med. Let's go take that one, add some radar, and we'll add the designer as well, the raiding fleet one. Let's go and get 10 infantry equipment. We'll upgrade the artillery as well. Uh, 222, anti-air, anti-tank, yeah, trucks. And let's go and get armored trains as well we'll take one off of trucks i think and i will switch over to superior firepower for the soft attack and this is the in the uh, infantry we're going to go with my standard 21 width uh, and we've got artillery anti-air and anti-tank is in the uh, support companies and i think we've got enough equipment yeah we do so let's spam out a few divisions to start with Separate our subs out. We haven't got a main fleet. Well, we have, but it's pants, so we won't be using that. Let's go and get them on. Reinforce. We'll get four lots of them out, and we'll get them just convoy raiding these two to begin with, because, yeah, they're both oceans. Uh, we'll take the fjords as well, because that'll be fine. And let's get them on attack low. We don't want to get sunk. There we go, start of the game, let's get that first focus, the new tree bits unlocked, so we want to power down here, so we can end up not being a subject of the Germans. Are they going to walk away from the front? No, they're going to start attacking. They normally do this and then occasionally just run off and let you grab some free land, so hopefully that's going to be the case. They're not going to get anywhere anyway, let's say that at the moment. With the Germans helping me. Oh, they have gone to one division and they are just de themselves. So maybe if we pin, we can at least take Napoli and get another port and some manpower. No, they've got some stuck on that. Right, new strat I'm going to do with this one. I did it similar to the J uh, the Japan run. So all of these fighters are going to get killed immediately. So I'm going to do something wild and I'm going to disable all of them. And then these are the three sets of fighters. And what I'm going to do is... Convert them and strap a torpedo tube on the underneath of these. So we'll take off the gun. We'll leave them as fighters so they have got a capability in the air. And then we'll do all three of them. We'll take some factories off the infantry equipment. And then look at all these we can convert for free to free naval bombers. Oh, a bit of alley, but we've got that. I think because I had a drop tank or something on one of them. Let's go get the Russian spy, and we will dump you way out here so you're not found. And then we'll get some collaboration governments going, as I don't want to take all of the Russia, of Soviet, sorry. Of the USSR. There we go. First focus done. Very nice. All within the state. Yeah, we'll have that as well. Thank you. Consumer goods down 15%. Massive. Right, they are currently pushing. I'm going to... Get some more divisions lined up. I don't have the equipment, but I'm going to go knock, knock. Hello, Germany. May you send me support equipment and some artillery and some anti-tank and infantry. And they'll go, yes, we will. Here is 13,000 guns, and we'll go, thank you very much. Right, I've got these five divisions. I think these are the ones I can't delete so let's get them as I think they're militia aren't they as well so let's get them as our port guards because we do learn our lessons on this channel the long way right we started sinking some of them I've got green sea that is ridiculous how am I getting naval supremacy here Pff, 
Okay, now I will use that to my benefit in the future. We are on Italian independency. Enough of this subjugation. We will get some free units. And we will also take these ones we've had training up with German equipment. And we'll get them out and I'll just train them for the XP because I don't have an army leader at the moment, which is annoying. They can continue to push and not be able to go anywhere. I will rack up some more though and we will go, hello, us again. I don't want one tenth of an artillery, I want thousands of equipment and guns. While you st still have it, Germany, because I will make it better use than you. Right, let's take these 23 divisions and we are going to stop D-Day as always. We cannot let them land, so let's take half there and half there. Independence, masters of our own fate again. Lovely jubbly. Let's go get another research slot as well then as our next focus. We've got seven new troops from that as well, so we'll add them to our D-Day wall. And we will convert them to our standard infantry templates. Right, they've got a load of new factories again. So we'll spam up the creation of the naval bombers. We'll give some more here. Here, We haven't got the resource for that, but we shall do in the future. Oh, D-Day's late. What are you doing? Someone was sleeping. 9th of June D-Day kicked off. How unhistorical. Game's ruined. D-Day, there it is. And they've not got a port. So as long as I can hold that one, you are going to starve and die, which is just fine to me. No one even attacked Cherbourg. Yeah, nice and circled. Losing all your equipment and your supply. There is a little one on the bottom here as well. They landed nowhere near a port, so I've just diverted a few troops to mop that up. I mean, they're kind of in tack at the moment. There's all the allies. And there goes the D-Day invasion. 12th of July, it's gone. And we will leave the seven troops here just to help out if anything else does appear in the near future. They've starved, so we'll just crush these. And then we will move back to Italy now. Oh, I've got Red Sea, that's a bit of a pain. I had a really crazy plan. Uh, torpedo expert, yes, thank you. Oh, and a submarine specialist, that's good. We can go add you. Uh, yeah, 10 attack and 5 defense for our submarines. Brilliant. Let's go spam some more of these out as our um, port guards because we don't want to get invaded ourselves. And we'll get our first lot of newly converted naval bomber fighters out. And we will sink some subs and some convoys of the Allies. And they're already starting. Goodbye. Oh, that was a lot of subs. Let's get our first collaboration government going. I'm going to lose all my factories while that sets up, but never mind. Right, I've got Green Sea. I'm going to do something that's going to make or break this run. I'm going to naval invade behind with the majority of my men. And hopefully surround this front line and take back our mainland. Oh, we've got some land in there. I've got someone in Napoli. That's a bit of a pain. But I think I think we're doing okay if we just quickly grab some land. Yes, we've got a couple of ports now. We are looking good. This is amazing. I've pulled off a miracle. Oh, don't tell me I'm not good. Modest as well, aren't I? Very modest. Can we get a little encirclement? Yes, a couple encircled there. If we could take Napoli now, there's a few encircled. Ah, uh, no, I think there's too many. I think we're going to have to just, yeah, convoy raid them a bit and let them lose their supply and then we'll have to walk in. Uh, seems to be 50-50 on the eastern front. I wish they would stop cycle charging though, the Germans, never mind. Come on, two days, come on, come on. Yes, Napoli is ours. Oh dear, what's that, like 30 divisions? Oh, sorry Americans. Goodbye. Come on, melt away, melt away. Lovely, right. I'm going to make use of the green again and we're just going to invade Sicily because I can't push south down the straight bit. Not going to be able to jump over the straits backwards either, so we'll have to just convoy raid them out of it again. 
Yeah, no chance. I think we'll just starve them out. Some sort of battle's happened here, but wait, let me open it. We'll just hold Sicily. Let's go and take back whatever these are. Corsica and Sardinia, is it, I think? Apologies if it's not and you live there or Italian. Yeah, make use of the green again. Let's go. Hopefully there's no one really here. Is there a few divisions, but that's okay. We landed on this island, so let's go quickly shooting down. Finally losing their supply down the south here, so we, yeah, should be able to push them nice. Nice 20 stuck in that port. Hopefully we, wow, well, we've got a load of subs out and we've got green sea, so they're going zero places. Very nice. Collaboration government complete. Next one is on the go. Oh, that was the second one, actually. Two done already. Nice. Although we're nowhere near fighting the Soviets. Just push them out and then we will reclaim. This is all cause, I believe, as well. So, perfect. More manpower and more factories. And we've just done jet engines. So, let's go and get some modern small aircraft so we can get some new fighters on the go. Right, we've moved over to the Soviet front now. We've mopped up our own land and we are running at full capacity. So the Soviets are pushing, but they shouldn't be able to break me now. They've pushed the Germans back a bit, but I'm hoping with our help now we should be able to wean all them down a bit. Let's get some fighter cast out jet fighters. Something like this. Drop tanks, good air superiority, air attack 43, good agility I think, and then 15 ground attack. Don't know, but that's what we're making. And I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's take some medium tanks down to get these. We've actually got green air as well already, and I've not even done anything. They seem to have bombers that I can't see. Another collaboration done. Why can I not do another one? Are we... Oh, 100%. We are 100% at a collaboration government now. So we shouldn't have to take... I mean, they're at 0% still, but I guess we're not actually in their land yet. Let's distract them a bit with a big invasion of Sevastopol. Oh, they had a tank on that, so I couldn't take it, but we should be able to... Oh, those two are going to get crushed, I think, unless I can move out. Right. Come on, push there. They pushed me one tile. Yeah, we've taken the port, though. You've just entrapped yourself. I might have to use last stand a couple of times, but we'll ignore that. Let's get some new naval bombers out then, because we're done with converting all the old fighters. Allies have landed here, but they seem to be okay. They're just force attacking. We've got loads of green. Oh, Benito's decided that he wants to be a field marshal, so why not? With all your rubbish stats, you can do the port guards. Green air, getting some cast now. 200 of our fighters up. See if we can start punching some encirclements with our tanks in the Soviet lines. Yes, that's it. Melt away. Yes, very nice. We take this toll here. Come on. We can get our first proper encirclement. Yes, first of many Soviet encirclements with zero fuel because I'm having real fuel issues. I don't can't trade with anyone. And I've also got fighters and subs doing bits. Yes, another one. Another one? Crush those ones. Ooh, this is teasing me. I'm going to have to try and close this. They've punched through, but they've just opened themselves up to a lovely little squeeze of this pocket. Uh, I mean, it is marshes and stuff, so I'm not sure. But we'll get all the cast up as well just to help out. I'm hoping the Soviets are stretched thin, so we should be okay. Not moving very fast, but yes. Check it out, another one. Oh, this is a beauty as well, a beauty. Right, let's move our infantry there and we'll get our tanks as well to clear up this pocket. I imagine the Germans are going to take all the credit for the kills, but never mind. As long as they're gone, that's more Soviets not on the front line and they'll have to replace. Ooh, a lot of anti-air, but we're shooting down their fighters and getting some cast damage. Finland, as always, has just betrayed us, so there's some nice Germans encircled there. Thanks a lot for that. But this encirclement is being crushed nicely. I can't really count what we've got. Probably 
40 divisions, something like that, I imagine. 40, 50 divisions. Very nice, melted away. So long. Right, I think, yeah, full on attack now. I think they are really weak. Let's get our cast over there as well into Ukraine. Yeah, they're just pushed, pushed, pushed. We shall march them back to Moscow. 7%. Another encirclement. Boom. In the marshes as well. The Italians are doing bits in this war. Can we get another one? Oh, yes. All these tanks and these infantry. Oh, I have upgraded to 24 width with another artillery. So we have got some bite in us now as well. Another pocket. We'll just crush this one. More Soviets to the chopping block. Every game of the Soviets is the same, isn't it? Encircle them and crush them. Can I take Minsk? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. Ooh, there's some space here. Keep going, tanks. Keep on going. We shall outmaneuver them through the forest. Can we crush these? Come on, pin and take. Come on, come on. Before someone else. Yes. Another encirclement. Oh, these are very juicy. Oh, goodbye. Where are we at now? 28 million casualties. Wow. And we are casting the hell out of them as well. Nice. And they've just declared war on China for some unknown reason. But fine, that should distract them. Another pocket here in sort of the... Uh, where Latvia used to be in Estonia. And we will just crush that. It looks like, what, another 20 odd, 20, 30 units gone. Tanks are plowing into Moscow. And there goes Moscow. And we're at 35%. Are you joking? Right, take Stalingrad then. Is it just the collaboration government just do absolutely nothing anymore. There goes Stalingrad, and we've lost Leningrad, and they're at 60%. This is ridiculous. Look, look how much. 62% with 100% collaboration government. Right, we're taking the oil fields of Baku. We are at 71, and they've got 31 million casualties. Moving my gigantic air force over to Africa. Oh. Uh, Japan and Russia have also gone to war, so that's good. I'm hoping the Japan will push them so they can take Sevastopol. Right, we've got some new camel... Oh, and Portugal. I knew I shouldn't have let you in the Axis. Why have you declared war on Spain for? So Spain's going to join the Allies now. Brilliant. Camels have landed. We are back for our colonial empire. Mainly for the oil. But obviously that's what everyone says, doesn't it? And we will push with our camels with motorised in them. Oh, look at their their air force. I suppose Japan's got all the rubber as well, haven't they? So they're getting none. Can we just smash our way through to a tripop, uh, Tripoli? And we should also go westwards. Come on, Tripoli. Yes, we are back into our Libyan lands. Give me that oil. And now we've got that port we shall crush on. Next stop, the Suez Canal. Oh, there goes France as well. That's odd. Oh, because it probably doesn't start capitulated. Oh. Oh, and Vichy's fired now with some free divisions. Oh, very nice. Right, we're crushing on through. We've got some naval... Oh, a battleship's gone. And a few cruisers. That's good. Oh, and some more battleships. The Turkish have joined in a doing bits with their navy. Right, our tanks have smashed through to Tobruk. 99%, 32 million. And we killed, we've killed 7 million. There we go. That was an absolute slog for 100%. And I've got no compliance. I thought you meant to start with 100% compliance if you do a collaboration government. What a load of crap. 
I've got some very oil rich nation though, and we did nick their navy. So 70 subs. I've got so many subs, but they can go in the reserve. And then we've got a new big boy navy to add. So Italy has got battleships again. Right, I couldn't make the final push into sort of the Egypt region, so I've naval invaded with some camels and no one was really home, so we will push there and we will take the Suez and Egypt finally, only about uh, nine years after we attempted to the first time. And there goes Cairo. We have done what Rommel couldn't and in the meantime they've encircled 14 troops. To Casablanca to wipe them out. We will just crush the French out of West and North Africa as well. Right, we've got some trash troops we're just going to leave on these borders. We've gone as far in the Middle East as we want. We shall now join in on the Spanish uh, bulldozing event. For some reason, they haven't joined a faction, which... Oh, I haven't got my troops in place. Bollocks. Never mind. We've landed anyway, who cares? Let's quickly crush them. Yeah, they haven't joined a faction, I don't know why, so we'll get a nice peace deal here and maybe we get a bit of land. Oh, they haven't got a navy, have they? I can't nick their navy, shame. Yeah, 36%, they've got a lot of troops. How have they got 110 divisions? Bloody hell. Yeah, these front lines are awful. Let's get rid of them and change them up. But we are just rolling over the Spanish, oh dear. And we are looking like a big boy axis again. This is officially saved, I think. But let's go... Well, first of all, there we go. Spanish is done. Let's grab some of their land. Yeah, then we've already got navy. All right, so we've got southern, uh, southern Spain there. So that's good. Let's move them north because we know what is coming next. The final blow... Get our new navy on. Naval invasion support. And look at this. Four full stacked armies invading the south. And they have got a lot of men there. Jeez. Um, right. Get our fighters on cast over southern England. They're all going to get crushed by AA. But never mind. Look at that. Red, red, red. Not a single division made it ashore. Hmm. Right, let's go. This whole army changed to Marines. Oh, look at them all drop out because they've got different equipment. We'll have to train them up a bit, which we will do before. And then we will rock uh, 40 widths with a couple of artillery in it. So these should smash in. And we're going for Newcastle up north because they never have anyone here. I'm hoping they don't have that naval wall all around the UK. And they don't. We've landed. We didn't really need to make 40 width marines for this, really, but never mind. They've all landed. The Geordies have been taken up north. Let's push on out and get all our army there. Oh, dear, UK. I'm, I know they've got a lot of troops south, so let's grab as much land and ports for supplies as we can quickly before they can redeploy. Yeah, I still think we should be able to batter our way through these. I've sent the Marines north into Scotland. Into Wales. Pushing through the south. We're on the border of London. They have not got time to settle and dig in. Oh, and there we go. Fall of London. We'll take 20,000 of your guns as well. London has fallen and the British. You've just left a load of Americans stranded in the south. So down we go. And there we go, all mopped up. So that is it. I'm calling that a win. I cannot be... We're in 1952. I can't be bothered with the Americans. We've taken 1.4 million against us allies. We have killed 8 million USA troops. Bloody hell, a million Brazilians. A uh, few hundred thousand of everything. And 2.6 million British. So 24 million the allies have lost. I'm taking this as USA would definitely sue for peace and we have won. So if this hasn't earned a subscribe from you, I don't know what will. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for other stuff. Peace out.